Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to one of my Mythic Mobs tutorials. Today, we're going to be covering spawners. That's right. I've been asked a few times to cover spawners, and while it's actually really, really, really easy, um, I'm just going to go ahead and go over it anyway, because more videos for you guys to watch and for me to put out there, more for me to do, more for you to watch, more for all of us to get together and make crazy stuff. So, with that being said, we're just going to jump right into it. Now, the first thing you want to know is when you're creating a spawner it's going to create one wherever you are looking so if i'm looking at that stone brick it's going to create one there gravel there uh gold block there leaves way the hell out there yeah it'll make a spawner wherever your crosshair is so that's very important to keep in mind and another thing here too is i'm going to be using these gold blocks just for the sake of display However, do know that the mob will always spawn on top of the block, so you do not want your spawner generally sticking out of the ground like this. But again, since this is just for demonstration's sake... Actually, you know what? No, I'll just do this to make it easy. Okay, so what we're gonna do is... There's a bunch of commands. I'm not gonna go over every single one in this tutorial. I will make a follow-up that will cover the rest, because it does get pretty specific. But to start off, we're gonna type in MMS create. Uh, we're gonna call this one, we're gonna call this one Legion S for Legion Spawner, which this is going to be your, um, your spawner name. Actually, let me go ahead and do S1 for later on in the tutorial. And then here is going to be your mob name. If you remember our buddy Legion, well, he is going to be returning from the dead again. So, once... It, ta uh, it takes it a minute once you set it for the mob to actually spawn, but you will see when it does. Yep, there he is. Here's our buddy, if you remember from my er earlier tutorials on my Getting Started tutorial playlist, Legion. So, he spawned here on top of this block. Now, if you want to remove it, you're just going to type in MMS Delete. Uh, what did we call it? Legion S1. Okay, so now it's gone. If we kill him off, no more monsters will... Oh, right. No more monsters will spawn from this spawner. Let's go ahead and actually recreate it here. Uh, all I did was press T and hit up arrow a few times. And that's how you do that. Now, what if you lost your spawner? You don't know where it is. It's not obvious like this gold block and you want to find it. Well, there's a command you can type. It's called MMS Find. By default, it will look within 32 blocks of you, and since it was there for me, you can see it came up Legion S1, five blocks away. Now if I go far enough out, and type that in again, you'll see that there are no longer any mythic spawners around me. So what you can do is add another little um, attribute to this, or variable. And we're going to give it a bigger radius of 100. If I type that in, 61 blocks away, Legion S1. And if you really want to see something crazy, 4 off portal. For those of you who watched my old, old videos, you know what's going to be coming up soon when you see this name. However, uh, that's really far away, but you can see it's within a thousand blocks and it detected it. So if you ever lose your portal or your... Um, spawner, you can do that mechanic. It won't tell you exactly where it is, but... Uh, generally, when you get near it, your mobs will spawn anyway, so once you find them, you'll know where your spawner is. Okay, so next, we're gonna show you... I'm gonna show you how to move your spawners. Say I want to move it to right here instead. Well, that's easy. All we're gonna do is type in MMS move legion s1. And it went from that block to this block. Two, 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 easy. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move it back here. And, um, say you set up all the attributes, which I will not be covering in this tutorial, but I will in the follow-up one. Uh, say you set up all the attributes of your spawner, and you want to copy it over somewhere else. Well, luckily for you, there's a way to do that, too. So if you remember the name of your first spawner, you're just going to go over to where you want the next one to be. You're going to type in MMS copy legion s1, which is the first spawner's name that you're copying. And then you're going to give a new name to your next one, which we're going to name Legion S2. And as you can see, we got two legions now, which is kind of terrifying, but eh, you get the gist. 
Now, one more thing I want to cover in this tutorial is um, the info about this. So, what we're going to do is MMS info legion s1. Here, these are all the. Uh, okay, stats responder stuff. Okay, so these are all of the uh, attributes, and these are just telling us what the current um, settings are for it. So, spawner on cooldown, false. Uh, if you set a cooldown to it, it'll default. It'll switch to true. Same with the warm up. Uh, I won't be covering those in this tutorial because it gets kind of complicated. Uh, I still actually haven't figured it out entirely because if you reload the plugin, it seems to change every time. Um, but here, you're going to see a bunch of things. You're going to have a group, which is important for activation, which we'll cover in a different one. Uh, and all these other attributes that I actually will be covering in the next tutorial. But in, uh, in essence, this is really all there is to this tutorial. Um, very simple, very basic way to just set it up. Uh, whenever you set up by default a new spawner, let me go ahead and delete one. Legion S2, MM, M kill Legion. By default, it will only ever spawn one mob at a time. This is because, well, that's uh, we have not changed the spawner to spawn any more than one mob. Um, but yes, we will be covering a lot of that stuff in the next tutorial because the next tutorial is where we get into the details. But I just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that much that one, it will always be the max mob spawned until you tell it otherwise. But since that is the gist of it, that's really all I have for you for this tutorial. Really short, really simple. Uh, I really hope you guys liked it. If it liked in, uh, or inspired you, make sure to give me a like and a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below if you something you want to have covered, and I will make sure to get around to it sometime in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Your creations are going to go far, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to get there together. I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.